Taoist Tai Chi, I would say that it basically is an exercise and meditative practice rolled into one. So you're working and relaxing the body as well as calming your mind and your spirit together. It's, it's a very profound exercise and it looks gentle but it's quite intense. Uh, well, I think it's just a fantastic practice for maintenance of the health, for improvement of the health. You know, many people do start with uh, serious injuries and illnesses and, and they can benefit the most from it. And it's for everybody. If, if you consider yourself a, an active athlete or you are in a wheelchair, it, it, uh, it has something to offer to everybody. It's a very gentle exercise. It's suitable for people of all ages, no matter what physical conditions you may have, no matter what disabilities you have. Uh, people can do Tai Chi in a wheelchair. It, do it doesn't matter. It is a way to live every day to the fullest, physically and mentally. It's an opportunity to relax your mind. Um, it's a meditation process, it seems, no matter what you do, there is a meditative aspect to it. It is a path to uh, our own cultivation, uh, the body, mind and spirit. It's very calming and I feel good when I do Tai Chi and it's easy and it's fun. My name is Judith altenburger Ola. I come from Chopron, Hungary, and uh, I have been doing da Taoist Tai Chi for 12 years now. My name is Sylvia Gite, and I live in Guelph, Ontario. I began doing da Taoist Tai Chi in 2003, and that was years after I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. I was diagnosed with mild osteoporosis, so told find something to do, find some kind of exercise. And luckily, I saw a demo of Taoist Tai Chi and I said, this is it, oh, it's beautiful. I started Tai Chi because it, I heard that it would improve my balance and flexibility, and it did that, it did that tremendously. I'm Danny Simmons, I'm, I live in Toronto, Ontario. Okay, my name is Tam Fleming. I'm from Nova Scotia. I started Tai Chi in 1988. I've been doing Tai Chi for a little over 10 years and I started uh, because I was quite sick uh, with Crohn's disease. I was quite weak and I was looking for a gentle exercise to get me moving again. I was, at that time I was having a lot of trouble with stiffness. I have a condition called ankylosing spondylitis. Uh, which leads the fusion of, your, of my spine and hip involvement. When I started Tai Chi, I'd, I'd, I couldn't walk very well because um, I was taking a drug and it, it, uh, it killed the bones in my hips so that it totally collapsed. So in lieu of getting hip surgery, I, I started getting into Tai Chi. In fact, that's really why I was mostly doing Tai Chi was to rehabilitate my hips and a side effect was that it helped my uh, Crohn's disease. Right away I noticed it was helping um, just my back was within a few months my, there was less pain in my back. Uh, I was able to sleep through the night. Um, things like the Don use were helping with my, um, my stiffness in my hips so just overall I was just it was just sort of helping me that way is my stiffness basically. My name is Maggie Longlinay. Um, I am originally from Louisiana, but I live in New York City, where I practice Tai Chi, which I've been doing for about five years now. My name is Kate Campbell. I'm from Buffalo, New York. I've been doing Tai Chi since 2007. And I originally got into it because I just wanted to try something meditative, and I had a martial arts background, so I thought that Tai Chi could be a good um, combination of those things. I was in a serious car accident back in 2003 and fractured my T12 vertebrae which is in your lower back and was in a lot of um, severe pain every day and had great difficulty walking most of the time. I have carpal tunnel syndrome and I realized very quickly that 
um, it helped a lot. It, I got a lot of more circulation. My fingertips weren't numb anymore. Um, and before I started practicing Taoist Tai Chi, I was in some degree of pain all of the time. Uh, and I'd been to a couple of doctors about it, and basically their answer was, well, you're young. If you were older and it was more serious, we'd give you surgery, but deal with it, basically. My name is Bruce McFarlane. Um, I live outside of Collingwood, Ontario, and I've been doing Taoist Tai Chi for about 20 years. Uh, I'm a family doctor working in rural Ontario and in the Arctic, and many of the people I see have uh, chronic health problems. Problems for which Western medicine usually doesn't have a full vigorous response, which is why the problems are chronic. Before I started Tai Chi, I just knew I had MS and the, the doctors didn't know whether I'd be in a wheelchair next year, tomorrow, 10 years from now. At that time when I was diagnosed, my nervous system would attack me and I would be paralyzed. Usually I was paralyzed and, and it would stay for a few weeks, maybe three weeks, four weeks, and then it would start coming back. And when you've lost all movement, when you've lost every movement, like for one minute you can eat your dinner and the next minute you can't. Like 20 minutes later you can't move your hand no matter what you do. Like that is the most, that's the most scariest thing that will ever happen to you. So people with Parkinson's disease, people with multiple sclerosis, advanced arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, uh, people who've had strokes or experienced car injuries, traumas, even many years back. These are all situations and people for which I didn't have um, a tool, a, a response for their predicament. And uh, introducing them to Taoist Tai Chi has proved remarkably helpful uh, for people, allowing them to increase uh, their flexibility, their balance, their strength, their endurance, um, their sense of relaxation and enjoyment. With doing Tai Chi, I know that it'll always come back. Like, no, I don't know that it'll always come back, but I know that if it does come back, I can work at it and make myself stronger. So to come to Tao Tai Chi and learn that I could have an active role in my own physical well-being was a revelation. It was an amazing discovery for me. So I've been doing it ever since. So it really changed a lot of uh, the ideas of what I thought about health. Um, before, I think I thought health had more to do with how far you could run or uh, lifting weights or various things like that. But, um, but my idea of health really transformed to uh, things that involve better circulation in the body, uh, more flexibility. Uh, more space, more room for things to move around internally. And I haven't been back for a recheck for many years, but I feel very much more flexible. I feel uh, that I, I am more straight. I have more uh, um, balance. I have more endurance, okay? I feel like my, my bones are supporting me. So I, I feel... Uh, uh, I feel younger than I did maybe 30 years ago. Um, I, everything about me is, is more, more vital, I think. <laughs> I feel more limber after a Tai Chi class. I feel stretched, not as tight. Um, and uh, I, 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 I'm more mobile and just healthier. I'm a healthier individual since doing Tai Chi and it has helped me a lot. I was able to get off of taking painkillers every day and now can walk fully upright without any pain, um, but found so much more within the society. Ended up helping me um, emotionally and mentally in ways that I never, never imagined were possible. The nature of these teachings is not just about the body but also about the mind and about how you interact with people. The physical benefits go beyond that to affect, have profound effects on just your mind, your spirit, how you feel, how you look at things, how you feel about life. Master Moy talked about the dual cultivation of mind and body and certainly I've found just as many health benefits psychologically and mentally. 
I'm Bob Varley. I'm from Montgomery, Alabama. I started doing Tai Chi in 1998, and I just noticed, I mean, it was a beautiful thing to watch, and I noticed that people seemed to be very calm and relaxed when they were doing it. And I had a very high-stress job, and I thought, well, maybe that might help me relax and take care of some of the stress I had. And also, I just thought it was just a, a beautiful thing to see, and I thought, wow, I'd like to do that. My name is Kurosa. I've um, been doing Tai Chi, uh, Taoist Tai Chi, five and a half years. And uh, how I found out was because I was very ill. I was diagnosed um, with um, major depressive disorder and generalized anxiety disorder and panic disorder. Uh, with mental health, people don't talk about that. And people do not understand a whole lot. And even uh, family sometimes is hard to understand. And even myself uh, did not know what's going on at the time until I check in to a psychiatric ward hospital, you know, hospital. Kia ora, koutou katoa. My name is Sue Lightfoot and I'm from New Zealand. I've been doing Tai Chi for 20 years and I guess I started because I had a very serious accident which incurred a very bad back injury. But if you ask me what the benefits of doing Taoist Tai Chi were after 20 years, I guess I would have to say that I've received just as many health benefits um, mentally and psychologically from doing Taoist Tai Chi as from the physical benefits. Within almost a month of starting to do Tai Chi, uh, it, it really did sort of have a relaxing stress re I could feel the stress relief and the relaxation. Gino would quite often arrive at the club rooms all hunched over and you know just full of the stress of the day and um, within half an hour I, the instructor would say, open up and extend the spine and I would go, what day? I've had, I feel great to be walking and it's good to be able to do Taoist Tai Chi. I mean, I was still taking a beginner class, but I noticed that when I would go into class and we'd start the first move of Tai Chi starts like this, lifting your arms up and putting them down. And I just noticed that I would just do that and that was it. Uh, no thoughts about anything that was going on in my life, the stress was gone. I was a lawyer, a trial lawyer. It's a very stressful kind of job and it was just so wonderful to me to be able to come somewhere, do this and relax. And you can have all kinds of stresses in your daily life. You come back out of work and you don't feel like going to your class, but you come out of there just relaxed and, and um, feeling, I don't know, well. <laughs> Through Taoist Tai Chi, I regained some, uh, you know, uh, ability to focus. What we offer first is the physical Tai Chi, and we, from the very first class, for myself, uh, we were introduced to the fact that there was much more. Uh, Fong Lo is a tradition. It encompasses uh, the practice of a very special teaching of the three religions, uh, Buddhism, uh, Confucianism and Taoism it is not necessarily something that has to be religious. It is can be a way of life. It is uh, exploring cultural perspectives, and uh, it brings people together. You might just want to do the Tai Chi, but there is so much more on offer. There are many other forms of the Tai Chi: um, the low cup, the sword and sabre. The singe. There's chanting, there's meditation, uh, there's a whole uh, temple aspect of Feng Lui Gok. I find when I practice the meditation, 
and the chanting that my Tai Chi is improved. Um, they, they work really strongly together. Those are not required activities. Those are things that are available to people who are interested and want to take, uh, take the study of Taoism uh, and the Taoist arts just a little bit further. I think this is something some people come to Tai Chi looking for the spiritual aspect and, um, and some people come into it. It's there and it's available and you're more than welcome to learn about it, but if not and you'd rather just stick with Tai Chi, you're totally welcome to do that as well. Master Moy was a genuine Taoist master. So meeting him was always an experience. He was always present in the moment. You, you know, he was a very inspiring person, so he would inspire you to do things and to go a little further than you may not, than you may ordinarily do. And his ability to see uh, who you were and how you might like to be involved or how you maybe needed to be involved, uh, he, uh, he was able to see that. I can remember once doing uh, Toyu, and uh, he said, why are you so sad? He said, it, it's like offering a gift to somebody you hold very dear, um, and the gift you know will be valued and appreciated deeply by that person. So obviously, if you have prepared a, a, a gift for somebody uh, that you love, you do it with a certain quality. And so when he said, why are you so sad? That was the imagery he gave me for the Toyu. I was sad at that, that moment. And um, so he was able to address the spirit as he worked with your body, uh, which is what Taoist Tai Chi does. You know, often he could tell that your, the problem was in your spirit, not in your body. Uh, and he would speak to that. One of the first things Master Moy said to me when I first saw him, was, he said, start instructing. I had been doing Tai Chi a year and a half then. And he said, start instructing, it'll help you. To me, being an instructor is a tremendous opportunity to, to share this art with other people and help them find the benefits that I and many others have, have found. I know that all the instructors are accredited uh, I know they're a volunteer and unpaid. Uh, so I know that they do it because they believe in it and they enjoy people and are interested in being of assistance to others. You become an instructor by having a desire to, to learn and continue learning. It's not even so much what you know, it's, it's, it's like Master Moy said, it's what's in your heart. You don't have to be perfect but you need to have the desire to improve. As a Taoist Tai Chi instructor, uh, I benefit from watching, engaging with students, watching their responses, hearing their reflections. So uh, I am a student. I'm a student as I'm teaching, and uh, I need to be a student and practicing my own Tai Chi in order to deepen my understanding, because it isn't book learning. It's experiential. Taoist Tai Chi is very much about how we treat people, how we treat other people with respect uh, that is due. And, uh, you know, that is something of one of Master Moy's main lessons. Full Moy Gok Tao you know, Institute of Taoism here really helped me to bring my soul back. It's a very low impact exercise, and yet you get a tremendous amount of physical benefit from doing this. Yeah, it lifts my spirits, gives me a sense of general well-being. I just feel much more comfortable about just being alive through doing Tai Chi. It seems to me that it helps each person in the way that they need help, um, in whatever way they need help. To me, you've got to come to the Tai Chi, Taoist Tai Chi Society if you want to practice Tai Chi that really is going to work for you. I would suggest to everyone, come and try. Uh, not just for one session, do the beginner's course. You need to give yourself at least three, four months 
and then carry on. This is investing in your health. So anyone 